Hey, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we're gonna tackle the link click campaign. So this is probably the third campaign I would recommend you test after conversion campaign, I would always say comes first. Um, and a conversion campaign, again, as a review, means that you're gonna tell Facebook you wanna optimize for people who are likely going to leave Facebook, come to a landing page and opt in, which then fires a conversion pixel. I like it a lot because getting charged that way makes complete sense and it's really easy to say how many conversions did I get and how much did I pay for them. And then the second thing I would recommend, uh, second campaign is lead forms. And again, quick review, you probably just watched the video, but lead forms are a way for somebody, a lead, to give you their information without leaving Facebook. A little built-in Facebook form pops up, um, which lowers the barrier to entry. I find that these leads aren't as qualified because it's just so easy to do. They kind of do it like spur of the moment, which could be great for your market, uh, but you can't get some of the step two follow-up that you can, especially if you have a um, carrot site. And then this third type of campaign is a link click campaign. So a link click campaign works like this. You tell Facebook, hey, I wanna be charged or I want to show my ad to people who are likely going to click on links. Um, as you can imagine, this can be very broad and somewhat expensive uh, if you don't do it right. So let's dive in and create our first link click campaign. Just like any other campaign, we're gonna click create and then name it. and it's going to be traffic. Now, at this point in the video, I was going to make, I could make this really long and describe the difference between uh, traffic and reach, but what I'm gonna do up front is kind of just explain my thinking on these two, and then it's really up to you to test them because I can't comment in your market or with you know your content what's gonna work. But a, re a reach campaign basically is going to um, optimize for how many impressions or how many people reach uh, Facebook can give you for your, your spend. I find in my testing that this is actually not a bad way to go. You can get uh, more people to see your ad for less money if you do the reach campaign. So I would do a traffic and reach campaign at the same time. I'll show you how to duplicate a campaign in here. And you know, spend if you're gonna spend $20 a day, you can spend 10 on traffic, 10 on reach, let it go for a week, and then see which one has more clicks, higher click through rate, and all that good stuff. But to start, let's go with traffic. We'll say, again, the Vancouver market. And then um, we'll do a we buy houses ad. Okay, we'll save that draft. And while that's being created, we can come over here and hopefully set a budget again. Um, we'll set a $100 budget. Key result, of course, is, so the difference between landing page views and link clicks, uh, this is gonna be somebody actually clicking on the ad going to the page. This could be somebody coming and viewing the page. It's called a view through, I believe. So I always just leave it as link clicks because um, that's what we're actually optimizing for here. All right, and then you'll notice it's different than a conversion campaign because it's not asking for a pixel. And then we're gonna set the budget pick the custom audience. So with a link click, you're typically gonna want to uh, get it in front of as many people as possible because you're trying to drive traffic here. The whole intention with this campaign is to get eyeballs to your website. So if you have a big retargeting list or a big mailing list, go ahead and drop that in here. Uh, let's assume, oops, let's assume you do not. And you just need to get it in front of your market. So I will drop off the entire United States and I will put in Vancouver, make sure it's the Washington location and not British Columbia. And then I'm gonna use some information I have from previous conversion campaigns to know that 45 year olds are typically my best segment. And I'm gonna edit my placement and I'm gonna take off these two. I'm gonna leave Instagram I'm going to show it on all mobile devices, and then um, this will kind of explain the difference between link click and landing page views, so you can go ahead and do that. Oh, one other thing uh, I wanted to bring up about the reach campaign is if you run a reach campaign, one of the options here will be limit the daily um, unique reach, 
or uh, the frequency of how often the ad is shown. So you could say show this ad only one time every seven days, three days. You can ch you can customize all that. So that's another reason to run the reach uh, objective is because you have more fine-tuned control over who sees your ads and when. All right, so that's basically it. You know, and Facebook's going to give us some uh, reach estimates. So this is pretty low, I would say. Uh, this I would kind of ignore that they that's just a pure guess on their end so if you want to up the reach of course the way to do that is to spend more money and uh, Facebook will be able to show your ad to more people throughout the day sometimes it takes a little bit to update that oops Um, one question I get asked sometimes, is it better to spend $5 a day or $50? Uh, you know, if, say you have a $100 budget, should you spread that out over 20 days or should you just do everything in two days? It really depends. Um, I think if you are only showing an ad for two days, you're going to get a lot of data quickly, but it makes it harder to kind of like iterate and make some small changes to uh, optimize the ad. So I'm always a fan of going, you know, a little bit on the lower side and then uh, scaling up as you get better numbers and understanding of what you uh, can spend and like what's what's performing well for you. So just expanding that little bubble there actually gave me more reach. Um, it looks like Facebook was saying with the amount I'm trying to spend, it will only show it. You know, the reach won't be as much as I thought it would. But now if I start, yeah, messing with the numbers. Now my reach goes up. So I think it was just not updating uh, like it usually does. All right, so enough about that. Let's go into the actual ad itself. And again, there's no magical bullet here. Like these ads are all gonna look very similar. Uh, in a previous module, I showed you some of the examples I use. For this one, let's go ahead and do a video. Uh, I don't have any great testimonial videos. So what I can do is select a video I've used in previous ads, which is just like cinematography. And the whole point of this is just to kind of catch their eye. So I'll just play that real quick. Uh, if you don't, if you do have videos, make sure you turn on closed captions and I'll show you how to do that uh, in a later video. And then I gotta put some text up here. All right, so this isn't the best copy. I'm just kind of flowing off the top of my head here. Uh, but you get the idea. Like there's not, I can't tell you like an exact paragraph to put up here to just like make a bunch of leads flood in. So you need to put something up here that's descriptive, kind of gives context or whatever around what the video is doing. So if it's a testimonial, you could literally put the best part of the testimonial up there. You could put, uh, look below to see a local customer who we helped sell their house in you know the area, uh, obviously say where where they uh, sold the house and then this is we buy houses for cash something like and then a benefit that's quick all right and then always make sure you're looking on mobile to make sure the headline is being seen and you can maybe even go like see if that'll fit in there Cool. So I wouldn't want to put much more con content in that headline there. And then the newsfeed description, again, you can put some more content in there, but for time, we'll leave that off. And then learn more. Uh, in a previous video, I said that learn more is my favorite call to action. Some of these others don't even really apply. The other thing you could test, uh, I've tested it in the past, is you could do something like, um, 
I'm not seeing it on this. I wonder if Facebook got rid of it. You used to be able to put no button. So now that I'm not, I don't see that in this offering anymore. Maybe it's because it's a video or what, but you used to be able to select no button. Maybe that's still an option in your um, ads manager account. And the reason I do the no button is to kind of make it look more like an organic, like somebody shared it versus it's an ad, but it'll always say sponsored right here when it's an ad anyway. So just a little, just a little caveat there. And that is it. Uh, again, this link click campaign is going to optimize for people clicking on that video and we are going to show it to everybody in Vancouver, spend about, you know, 10, 15 bucks a day and kind of see, uh, what kind of reach we get. Okay. So now let's compare this to a reach uh, objective. One thing I haven't done a great job of in this course is showing you some of these tools that you can use in your ads manager. Um, you can add campaign tags. You can export them. So if you, for whatever reason, wanted to, you know, put this into a new account, you can delete them. Of course, you just have to make sure they're checked. But what I wanted to show you was this duplicate function. So if you click duplicate, you can copy an entire campaign and everything with it. The problem is it will keep the same uh, objective, which is kind of annoying. So you have to create a new one when you do reach and we will do reach campaign. But what you could do is you could use an existing ad set. Uh, you could skip this and then duplicate an ad set and add it into the uh, campaign. But I mean, I don't know if that's, that doesn't save you a whole lot of time. So it's just probably as simple as going like this, especially when you're starting, you can kind of get a good idea of how to go through each of these and make sure you're, you're checking all the right boxes. All right, so these are gonna look very similar. I probably won't go all the way through uh, the ad creation part of it just because it's going to be the same as a link click campaign But I will show you the difference in the ad set level. So this all looks very familiar to you, but when we come in here um, You will see that you can do everything the same Except for down here. There's some different op options for the optimization and delivery uh, You're gonna want to set the frequency cap. So this is how often the ad is shown and you might want to do, you know, five days or whatever. So the reason why you want to control this is when you're doing a broad offer, if you show the same person the same ad five times, they're just going to ignore it. Uh, you really have, it's like fishing. It's like a great analogy because you throw a line in. If a, if a bunch of fish swim by your hook and the bait and they don't take it, that tells you that it's not something they're interested in. Maybe it's the wrong smell, the wrong color, the wrong size. Same thing with Facebook ads. If you throw an ad out there and it goes through their newsfeed multiple times in a day and they don't click, like you're going to waste your money. So show it once uh, every week or whatever and say your click through rate is less than 1% and you get 100 clicks. Okay, change the ad. Maybe make it look different. Maybe make the headline different and throw it out there again. Limit it to one so you're comparing apples to apples and maybe your click through rate goes up to 1.5 and you get 150 clicks, right? So that is a great way to kind of control more of that uh, aspect of showing the ad. If it were me, just being honest, I, I like the reach campaign a lot. Um, I, I tend to run those more than I do the link click campaigns. And the only reason why is because I feel like I get more clicks for cheaper cost, but that could very much depend on your market. Vancouver is not the biggest city. Um, so I usually need to spend a little bit more than uh, you know, markets like if you're in Dallas or Houston, test these both because I bet you they're pretty uh, similar, but I'll leave it at that. And this, that's really the only thing I wanted to show you with the reach campaign. The rest of it is the exact same as any other campaign in Facebook in terms of creating the ad creative. All right. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or any feedback for me on this video, there is a form below. Go ahead and fill that out and I will be in contact with you soon. Thanks.